is kind of tricky on that is A, most states don't have the gang violence that we have. B, they they're not to? they're not coming up to you on a one on one or a situation. You don't even know where the bullets are coming from that they coming so fast here. You know, and then um you got the, the older people as I stated that that feel like now they see little Pee Wee or little Tyrone and he look like he ain't up to no good. So all of a sudden now he done pulled out his gun and he done shot the boy for no reason because I thought he was about to go get his gun when actually he was grabbing his cell phone. I think coming from a coming from a state, Mississippi, they carry guns. I've been into the gun store and I've seen ladies in there buying their pretty pearl pink pistols and guns and rifles and all of that. But when you have a large murder rate such as Illinois, I think first you got to get control of a gun opposed to telling other people. Because that's just going to turn into a wild, wild west to me. It is. It's going to turn into a wild, wild west for, you know, for, for a couple months. It's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of bloodshed. But, but that's good. good. Yeah, it is no. because how many murders we got right now? So you gonna triple it? But this is it's gonna tri- it's gonna triple at the, first the, and it's gonna slow down. The but thing it's gonna slow down. Gonna slow down. But you know what? The thing about the whole situation is, you sitting here saying we're the murder capital of the world, but we, I mean, the, the United States, we have not always been the murder capital. Though there's been other states that have been New York, California, and their problem has ceased. So, what did they do to get the crime rate down? And I need, we, I need and for actually, you to show me statistics that state that, they, that the crime rate went down because they are pa- passed this law within their state. Oh, but what I'm telling you, Gary, Indiana, Gary used to be the murder capital. Gary's no longer the murder capital because everybody moved there. <laughs> that is not true. You're that not going to get. Not you're not going to get rid of violence. Violence is going to be something. I be trust there. me and, and believe. Uh, I, I don't think. I don't think that it's a. But but the whole the whole thing about it is the people that they're killing. Okay, if I'm getting ready to pull out my gun, everybody in the place pulls out guns. You're gonna think twice. Like, you have a but, but but you know what? You're not gonna be quick to pull out your gun because you know somebody else gonna pull out one. Like the person that you're actually gonna kill. Like say it's a group of us standing around. Say everybody in that park that night had a gun. You're not gonna be quick to shoot somebody because you're gonna be scared that you're gonna get but shot. But from what I've seen and what I've noticed lately is if you pull out your gun and Link pull out his gun at the end of the shooting. You and Link still gonna be standing there, and everybody else is the one that got shot. <laughs> that, that, I'm, I'm being totally honest. No, how many people? How many people no, died? How so. many kids and people died that was not the intended person for the bullet? But if everybody, if that they knew that the people that they were going after, or if they knew that that group of people standing over there, that it's 15 people standing over there. And out of those 15 people, I'm one person, and I know them 15 people got guns. I'm not going to pull it out. These these, these crimes are, it seems to be like some one-on-one type, I'm going to get you, you're going to get me. It's not groups of people, you know. But we're not having, I, I could get that if we were having that. 